Hey guys, so today I'm gonna be looking at secrets that will destroy lives if they got out. So yeah, let's just get right into the video. And they got out. I know a woman who was dating a child-free man. He was adamant about not ever having children while she was crazy about the opposite. She punctured condoms, stopped birth control while pretending she never stopped and lied about her period dates. Poor guy thought her birth control and the condoms he was using would keep him safe, but she got pregnant anyway. He doesn't know. He's miserable. What the heck? Why would she do that? Like she's trying to trap him or something? That's, that's so dumb because now I just feel so bad for the kid. Like this is their mum. This is the kind of person their mum is. He deserves to know though. Don't you guys feel the same way? It's just... Like, he shouldn't know. He shouldn't know what kind of person she is. So does that mean he doesn't know that she wanted a child so bad? Oh my gosh, like this woman. Why don't you just date someone who shares like the same beliefs as you or has the same kind of dreams like you? Why would you go dating someone when you know that he doesn't want kids, but you want kids? Like, it's never going to work out. Things like that never work out. A friend I grew up with and recently reconnected with had sex with his wife's sister. He got her pregnant. She had the baby and the wife doesn't know the niece she's babysitting daily is her husband's child. <sighs> what the heck? What, 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 what am I reading? What would you do if you know the secret though? Would you keep it to yourself or tell the wife? Oh my god. Hell is gonna break loose. Yeah, I wouldn't know what to do because like they're happy not knowing anything, right? Like ignorance is bliss. Well, now I'm just creating scenarios in my head. Like what if um, the wife's sister gets too attached to the husband and she's always like blackmailing him. She's always like, if you don't do this, then I'm going to tell her. I'm going to tell your wife what you and I did. So I feel like she might find out one day anyways. So would it be best to just tell her earlier? Oh, that's that's hard though. Like, I don't know if I could do it. Like, I would want to do it. But everything afterwards that happens, I feel like would be my fault. I mean, technically it's not my fault because, you know, I, I didn't do any of the bad things. I just told the secret. But if they didn't know about it, then nothing would have happened. <laughs> I feel like I just feel bad for everything, honestly. That's no good. I have three older sisters and one younger brother. When I was younger, about 11, I was supposed to be sleeping over at my aunt's house because my parents were at a wedding and knew they would probably come home drunk. Anyways, I got upset with my cousin, so I snuck out of the house and walked home. I was sleeping when I was awoken by my parents arguing in the living room. I was always a nosy child, so I sat up listening and I heard my dad say, why would you do this to me after I helped you fight in court for my older sister's name, then helped you raise her and love her as my own? Then I heard my mum tell him to never bring that up again, and then I heard a door slam. Up until then, I always thought we all had the same father. Even to this day, 12 years later, I'm the only one out of my siblings that know my older sister is not my father's biological daughter. I don't even think my sister knows. I just couldn't bring myself to even tell her. I don't even think my parents know I know. They didn't even know I was home that night. I pretended to just be getting home later on that morning. I have never told anyone. Oh, oh my gosh, these stories are stressing me out. To tell or not to tell. But I feel like there's more cons than pros. Because you tell them and then your family might be ripped apart. But if you don't tell them and if they find out later on through someone else then that's gonna be worse dude these are hard <laughs> i mean i'm not even in this position to tell anyone because i don't know any of these people right i'm just reading the stories but jeez i don't know man i don't know what i would do what would you guys do my boyfriend's first girlfriend's mother would always try to hook up with her daughter's boyfriends, but that's not the weirdest part. After the mom tried putting the moves on him and he barricaded himself in the bathroom to wait for his girlfriend to save him, girlfriend told him in the car that it was normal for her mom to have sex with her boyfriends and vice versa. What kind of sorcery is this? Ew. 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 Oh, 
Oh, I'm thinking too far ahead. I'm just thinking, what if the mum gets pregnant and then the girlfriend gets pregnant and then they're both pregnant and then both babies come out? What the heck is that? <laughs> what the heck happens then? Why does she think that's normal? Like, what kind of household has she been growing up in? Did the mum, like, brainwash her to think that was normal? My friend comes from a pretty conservative family, which is fine, but some of them can be pretty judgmental. Anyway, after knowing her for a few years, I found that sister got pregnant at 16 and was shipped away to have the baby and have it adopted, and then she came home. They don't talk about it and act like it didn't happen. For me, that was always something that I'd seen in movies or read about. She has no idea I know. I was told by a mutual friend. Uh, uh. They shipped her away and then once she has the kid, she just abandons it and then go home. That's messed up. One time at a friend's house, I went into his closet to jump out and scare him when he came back to the room. Found out he has bottles and jugs stored in there for peeing. I think he was just being weird and did this while gaming and it got to the point that he can't go unless it's into a bottle. How are you that lazy that you can't even go to the bathroom? A good friend of mine is Indian and gay, which she knows her family won't accept. She's about to have an arranged marriage to a man who is also gay. Neither of their families know the truth and are excited about the upcoming wedding. The groom's boyfriend is part of the wedding party. They plan to have children via IVF at some point. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is this? Oh my god, I don't know how to react to this. But man, it's just so sad to think about. Like, I just feel so bad because they can't marry the love of their life because they're just so scared of disappointing their parents and you know it's just a cultural thing for them to have an arranged marriage right i feel so bad you only have one life right and you're not living the life that you want to live <laughs> i think i'm extra emotional today my boyfriend told me that at one point he was going to break up with his ex but then she told him she was pregnant so he stayed with her then she had a miscarriage, but he stayed. One day they were arguing and she let it slip that she lied from the start and was never pregnant nor had a miscarriage. Oh, well. Well, at least she let it slip. Well, that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoy. Tell me in the comments down below what your thoughts are. And as always, thanks for watching. Hope you guys liked it and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.